it's 2023. Let's normalize going to therapy. Let's normalize unfollowing people you think are messing up with your mental health. We are going to focus on ourselves. We're going to focus on working on ourselves. We're going to focus on working hard and getting the things we want and not worried about what everyone around us is doing. Use that lack of contentment to motivate you to even work harder and do better. Today is January 4th, 2023, and I just want to say Happy New Year to each and every one of you. In today's video, we are going to talk about some of the trends, some of the habits, and some of the things we just have to leave in 2022. I want to know also, what are some of the trends, some of the habits, that you think we should totally leave in 2022. Let's go ahead and jump right on because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things that maybe some of you guys are not going to agree with, but guess what? This is just my personal opinion and my personal thoughts. If you disagree, it's totally fine. Number one on my list is going to be jealousy. Quit worrying about what everyone else around you is doing and what they have. In fact, Use that lack of contentment to motivate you to even work harder and do better. Most of the time, the people that you are actually envious probably have bigger issues than you actually do have yourself. Everything you see glitter, you guys, is not gold. Just because someone portrays to be doing so well or portrays to have this kind of lifestyle on social media, off social media, they probably have some of the most problems. Sometimes we actually make it seem as if it's almost impossible to be jealous. It's okay to be jealous. I just think that you probably just need to shift that jealous energy to a little bit more of a positive jealous energy. Meaning, if I'm gonna be jealous of someone, I'm actually getting a side hustle, I'm getting an extra job, I'm doing everything I can possibly do just to be able to get the same things I am jealous about. In 2022, we are going to focus on ourselves. We're going to focus on working on ourselves. We're going to focus on working hard and getting the things we want and not worried about what everyone around us is doing. I know, I know with this one, some of y'all gonna drag me. I know, I know, but comment below if you agree. The excess may be here. We need to stop. Yeah, we just need to stop it. We, we just need to stop it. We, we, we just we just need to stop it. Like, A, it's not cute. B, we all know it's not real. And C, I mean, I know we wear wigs, like, obviously, right? That's me, whatever, right? But when you have the baby hairs all the way to your eyebrows, sis, we gotta talk. Like, you're doing too much. Like, we're we just doing the most. I am sorry, don't get offended, but I said what I said. We can't just bring it into 2023. Like, them baby hairs, honey. It was cute at first, but when y'all started overdoing it, I was just like, nah, sis, we, we just gotta stop. No, stop the nonsense, okay? And next on the list is people pleasing. Listen. I've stopped. I used to be that one. Because one thing is, no matter how much you do for people, they still never gonna appreciate it. Because one day, you're gonna flip and probably do like, I don't know, something, and then it's like, you've never done any good for them. Like, so what's the point? In 2023, we're not people pleasing nobody. We are going to do as we please. We're gonna please ourselves, not pleasing everybody else. I regret ever being a people pleaser. Um, and now, I don't give a I don't care, excuse me, but I don't care really, like, I don't care about anything. I come first before anybody else come, comes, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's all about me. You can you can say I'm selfish or you can term that as being selfish, but at some point, you guys, you gotta be selfish. I feel like I've said this in one of my videos previously. Sometimes you just gotta be selfish, man, because... Nah. People's perceptions about you. Don't worry yourself about what people might think have to say about you. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. I can sit here all day and tell you we're about to leave baby hair in 2022, but if baby hair makes you happy, sis, go ahead and do your baby hair. Don't worry about people's perception, perception 
of you. People would always judge you and it doesn't matter what you do, if it's good or bad, people are going to judge you. So do not worry about what people have to say. Whenever people believe something about you, it don't matter, sis. Jesus could come down. They're still going to believe what they want to believe. Like you cannot change their thoughts. So you might as well do you. Because if you think I'm mean, nothing I say or do is going to change that because that's you thinking I mean, but that has nothing to do with me though. I want you to understand that has nothing to do with me. That has everything to do with you. That's you and your mindset. Like, but me on the other hand, I'm good. Listen, I, 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 I'm sure this one I'm going to get dragged for too, but I am so sorry, but I think Crocs should be left in 2022. I think the Crocs should be left in 2022. Like there are some more comfortable shoes. Like wearing the Crocs and thinking it's cute. Let the kids wear it. Let's, can we just say that? Let the kids wear it. But when you're an adult, like dressed up all nice and you want some Crocs, baby. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I think we should just leave the crux in 2022. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments because I might just be crazy. But this is my personal opinion, okay? It's all fun and games. Stop it. Stop judging me and stop trying to be mad at me for, for saying what I, what I think, okay? <laughs> but at least crux just should be stopped, okay? I blame Nicki Minaj. Even though I love her to death, though, like, that's my girl, but mm, them crux to be out, sis. This one is actually very serious. Working on your mental health, baby, it's 2023. Let's normalize going to therapy. Let's normalize taking a mental break. Let's, let's normalize on following all the pages that we don't think benefit our mental health. Let's normalize on following the drama. Okay, let's normalize that. Let's normalize unfollowing people you think are messing up with your mental health. Let's normalize that because your mental health should come first, especially in black communities. I think we should normalize just going to therapy, especially black men speaking to someone um, and getting help, taking a break if you need to. Stop, leave that job that is stressing you out. If you have a boss that is just really stressing you out to the point you hate going to work, leave that job. Look for another job. The reason where that why there are so many other jobs like that job is because you need to be somewhere that you're loved and cared for. You cannot just be going to work just to get money and then like at the end of the day getting depressed because of how much you hate what you do or how much like just Anything that is going to mess with your mental health, work away from it. It's not worth it. Staying in toxic relationships and friendships. I don't care if it's a family, friendship, whatever it is, cut it off. Boyfriend, cut it off. Okay? In 2022, we are not sitting and staying in no toxic ass relationship. We're going to give the same energy you give. You love me. I love you. We move. Okay. You can't do the same. Uh, I can't even say the word. You get it. Okay. If you can't, then no, I'm not going to sit here staying in toxic relationships, man cheating on you, lying on you, singing. Like it's just toxic behaviors. Like, you know, we're out of the toxic behavior. We are not accepting or condoning any toxic people in our lives in 2023. If you're toxic, goodbye. I ain't worried about nobody. You gotta remember 2023 is all about yourselves. Okay. Be selfish with it too. Okay. Any toxic people, any toxic family members, we gotta cut them off. You ain't staying. I'm sorry. If you're toxic, you're not following me into 2023. Stay your ass in 2022, sis, because in 2023, <laughs> no toxic behaviors and don't be toxic too. Cause some, sometimes the problem is actually us. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the problem is us. So sometimes you gotta check yourself. If you think everybody else around you is toxic at times, check yourself, sis. It might just be you. Mm -hmm. Man, this, listen, every time I'm on TikTok scrolling, it's the videos on how to find a rich man. 
how to find a rich man. Let's just leave that in 2022 because in 2023, we, we getting rich. We're not looking for any rich man. We, in fact, we're getting rich. Okay. We're the rich ones. Okay. Let the narratives change. Let the men start searching for videos on how to get a rich woman, but we're not going to give them our money though. But let's just, let's, 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 let's just, just leave that in 2022 because in 2023, we walking hard. We getting our bags, honey. Okay. Cut the videos. Ain't nobody cares how to get a rich man. I mean, I understand like we no, ain't no one of us want like a broke man, but let me tell you something. Everything you want in a relationship, you have to be it first. Can I hear an amen? Everything you want in a relationship, honey, you gotta be it first. If you, if you cannot be that, then stop. But everything you want in a relationship has to come from you first. If you want a rich person, you walk on your bag. You can't be like 600 pounds and trying to get a fit cut man. I'm not saying you can't get it, but let's just be realistic. Like walk on yourself first. Like you cannot try to like find something in someone that you are not. So let's just cut with the videos because I'm sick of it. I don't even know why this annoys me. Um, I don't even know if it annoys me or if I think it's just whack and we just, just leave it on in 2022. It doesn't even annoy me. Honestly, I don't, I could care less, but when people hide the number of subscribers, the number of followers, the number of likes that they get on social media. Why? Like, why would you let a freaking like and subscribe account define who you are. People don't care how many people follow you or how many views you have for them to like watch your stuff. People care about the content you're creating. Like sometimes I can create a video that probably that has like a million or millions of views or hundreds of thousands of views. And sometimes I post a video, honey, it's like 200 views. Am I going to be upset? Absolutely not. I'm just posting content. And if, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, that just tells me that I just need to work on something else. Just don't let the likes, the, the, the views describe your self-worth. Come. Listen, we all want to be cute. We all want to wear the nice eyelashes, the feather look. But when I see you and I can't even see your eyes, all I see is eyelashes. Since we got a problem. No, 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 no. Now we, we got a problem because first of all, I can't even tell if you got eyes. It looks like we just got lashes. Okay. It looks like you don't even have an eyeshadow because all I see is just eyelashes. Like we got to cut with the crazy eyelashes, the crazy eyelashes. We just got to cut it out in, in 2023. If y'all want, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hook you up with some lashes. Okay. You can get lashes for cheap, like five 99, but they don't gotta be like, Damn, they don't, gotta, they don't have to be fans. Like, you don't have to be like this. Like, where are we going? At this point, I can literally take a flight on your lashes. Like, because I don't know where we're going. Because, whew, it's wild. <sighs> she ain't even cute. I'm your friend. So I'm telling you, it's not pretty. All your friends are laughing at you. They're not telling you, but they're laughing at you. They, they're secretly gossiping about how crazy your eyelashes look. I'm just telling you right now, cause I don't want, I want you to say that I didn't tell you anything. Cause I did talk about crazy eyelashes. Let's talk about the crazy, super white on the eye, like super bright on the eye. And I don't know who named this, like the, the English, like the London, like, cons like ugh, who did that? Cause I went to England and I didn't see some of those girls walking like that. Listen, y'all need to stop, stop walking around with your concealers looking super bright. It come sis. If your friends ain't telling you, I'm telling you, you look crazy. And I'm telling you right now, everybody in the neighborhood says your under eyes too white. And when you take pictures, it looks crazy. I I'm sick of hearing it. I don't want them to talk about you no more. I'm just being honest. Like I see this shit so much, especially on TikTok. I'm like, where are we going? Like, why am I this color? And my under eyes look like white. The math is not mathing. I mean, you know, we all want a highlighter look. You know, we want to be bright, but we don't want to be like casty. Like, 
let's leave it in 2022. We friends. The bonnets. The damn bonnets. You don't have to be decked out, dressed up, makeup done, nothing. All you need is make sure you pull your hair on a ponytail or just leave that wig hanging. Tie your, wrap your hair with a nice wrap, okay? But that bonnet stays in bed. I don't know who's letting you walk out of the house with that damn bonnet, but that's, let that stay in bed, okay? Because we're not, we not about to do that in 2023. I promise you, when I cut you at the airport with that bonnet, I'm gonna yank that off your head, sis. <laughs> I'm just playing. And you know what pisses me off? For the most part, I'm sure, their hair is super nice underneath because they always have a wig on, they have a frontal, and they have the bonnet on, but we cannot just be wearing the bonnets everywhere. Last but not the least, it's ghosting. Do ask to orders as you want others to do unto you. If you don't like someone, because if anybody goes to you, you will not like it. If you don't like the person, send them a nice message. It doesn't have to be ugly. It doesn't have to be nasty. It doesn't have to be about them and what they look like or how you don't like their breath, blah, blah, blah. It's, it just has to be very simple. This is not the right time. You're just not ready. But just quit ghosting people. This is, It's just not cool. I have been ghosted and I don't feel right, okay? And I have probably ghosted people before and I'm sure that's probably why my ass got ghosted too. Uh, but we, like, let's, you just can't ghost people and think it's okay. If you, if, if someone takes you out and you think this is just not a good vibe, you don't have to tell them right then and there. But when you leave and then like they probably check on you, you should probably be able to like talk to them and just say, hey, listen, I don't think this is, this is right for me. I don't think this is what I'm, this is what I want. I don't think I'm ready for a relationship. This has nothing to do with you. I apologize. You know, I, I you know, make it everything about you and versus not making them feel bad about themselves. But I don't think ghosting in 2023, we should just bring it. Like, it's just not cute. It's very distasteful. Um, it's very hurtful. And I don't think it's right. And like I said, do unto others as you would want others to do unto you all right guys and that is it that wraps up my what i think we should truly leave in 2022 and now bring it in 2023 if you guys have anything else that i did not mention here or if you want to actually elaborate on any of the points that i've talked about or you just want to bring up some points that i did not touch on i want to hear what you guys have to say i want to know what are some of the habits what are some of the trends and what are some of the things that you think we should leave in 2022 okay make sure, keep it nice let's keep it classy in the comments we don't have to go at each other okay this is just my personal opinion and it doesn't matter if you disagree with it or you think you want to continue with some of the habits that i say it doesn't matter at the end of the day this is just me saying what i think and how i feel okay and we should be able to have conversations as adults and not be very like insulting to each other as always i just want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video i absolutely enjoy filming this i thought this was so much fun make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video for more as always i love you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next video Mwah. i love y'all